You guys hear that? That's the dinner bell for Sheep's Head. Let's go get them. So as you guys can see behind me, the super shallow waters. What I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be explaining just how I catch those mud crabs, um, which I call oyster crabs. One thing you definitely want to take into consideration while doing this is you don't want to walk in these oyster bars without shoes on. So I'm going to be using my, uh, my Columbia boating shoes, which are like water resistant shoes. I don't know. They're not waterproof, but they dry easy. So it's all good. And then what you want to do is you want to bring a bucket with you. Guys, here we go. identify that they're not um, stone crabs that you're using. Uh, I actually had a comment in the last video. These little uh, mud crabs don't have stripes on their legs. Uh, that's one easy way for an untrained eye to identify a mud crab as opposed to a stone crab. I like to kind of shuffle these things around on my feet. If I see like a big patch like this, I'll just go like this. Just be very careful with your hands, guys, because these things are sharp. So they're gonna be, so see how I lifted up this rock right here, or this, uh, this oyster? So I lift up the oyster and this is what I saw, which is not much, but when you see that little black circle, that's your key right there. That's what you're looking for. That's a good mud crab, guys. It's like a perfect size, right there. That's the size we're looking for right there. That's the one we're looking for, guys. I like to rinse them out with some water inside the bucket, just so that when you're reaching in there for some bait, you definitely don't wanna get bit unnecessarily. Perfect. All right, cool. So we just finished up. Now we have enough to go fishing. I think I got like one or two dozen. I got some small ones, a couple big ones. Um, now let's go catch some sheep's head. First bait. It's a beautiful fish though. First bait I dropped down. Didn't take long. Literally guys, if you have the right bait, it's not gonna take long to catch them. Um, they like structure. Any kind of structure is gonna work, whether that be a bridge, a dock. Docks are preferred. Um, for me anyways, I've had the best luck on docks, but even fishing piers have them on the pilings, so get another bait out there.
Instagram on that for that one. Nice fat dog. Check that cheap set out, guys. That's a nice fish right there. Beautiful fish. Man, what a fight he was. Love it, guys. All right, guys, the rig that I was using was a very simple rig. I'm just free lining uh, these crabs. Very natural approach, just letting them just kind of sink down right near the piling and just letting them fall right in front of their face. Just a very natural approach. Now, I would say a really good tip to take into consideration while catching these is that you don't want to, uh, you don't want to set right away. Um, and there's a reason for that. You don't want to set the hook right away because sometimes they just latch on to, uh, to that claw of the crab and you really want to make them commit before setting that hook. Beautiful, beautiful fish right there. So I would say a pretty common question that gets asked um, when harvesting fish is how many can you keep? How big do they have to be to keep them? So the sheep's head actually have to only be 12 inches. I usually wait till they're a little bit bigger to keep them just because the, the amount of meat and um, the amount you can keep is actually 15 per harvester per day. So just a little tidbit for you there. You just want to cast right by that piling. And you just want to let it sink slow. And as you're letting it sink, you want to watch the line. Because the line's going to tell the tail on where that bait's going, whether it's sinking slow. And if you see like a quick jolt in the line, add another one. Little guy. I don't know why I'm so blown away by the teeth. Well, that was pretty cool guys. I just had the dock master um, of these docks come out here and talk to me. He has no problem with me fishing out here. Obviously I'm on the water, I'm on spot lock, so I'm not tied off to the dock or anything. But here's another nice, beautiful sheep's head caught right here, Anna Marie Island, Manatee County, with the crabs, oyster crabs guys. Gotta get them. Don't forget, as always, guys, I always leave the exact gear that I'm using in this episode or in any episode I post in the description below. So please use the links that I post to help support the channel and you get affordable tackle that gets the job done. All right, guys, the rig that I was using was actually I gotta take her. Missed him. All right, guys. The rig that I was using, I was actually just free lining. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time to do this episode. Without you viewing and supporting, and commenting, and liking, and sharing my videos. Um, I have no other reason to do this. So I really enjoy doing it for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with a friend, or drop a comment in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.